going on everybody welcome back to the channel so here now I'm going to show you how do I do beards in my daily basis very simple very easy but before we start I need you guys make sure you subscribe and so that way you won't miss anything in this uh, class everything that I will release you won't miss so the idea here guys I will maintain the shape like more square okay I'm gonna do a fade up down to here and follow just stay tuned and follow the step by step I suggest you get a model and then you do the exactly same thing the idea here is because many barbers ask me for videos and tutorials in how I do beards and here I am let's do it guys this is the step by step in how I do beards very simple and easy I need you guys to grab a pen and paper write it down and then put it into practice so I'm grooming the beard first everything pulling all the hair out okay the first thing I'm going to do I'm gonna do the fade right here with a zero open zero open and now first I'm going to debulk here a little bit just a little maintaining my square shape following the, the hair grain all in the same direction of the hair now I'm using number two I'm using one and a half open and I'm blending the line I'm not angle my my guards my clipper make sure my clipper is working nice and square nice and flat against the following the line one and a half open one and a half halfway closed and one and a half closed now my, now i'm using one open one and a half one halfway closed and one closed the line will still be there because I did my first graduation line on the beer with a zero open so now half open half halfway closed and now half closed now zero open I'm gonna pick some dark spot Now with zero close, one finger width above the first graduation line and we blend this line I'm using half open. Half 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 open, half halfway closed and half closed. Zero. Sorry guys, I said half but it's zero. Zero open, zero half away. Close and zero closed. So now my trimmers. Make sure I remove all the remaining hair. So now I'm using my shaver. And now I'm using my blending shears. So I'm going to pick some dark spot here on the beards. 
just like I do in a regular haircut. Make sure I blended this with the spots that is more dense. I also now use my regular shears and point cut the beard as well to make this transition more soft. In my trimmers now, I'm making the outline. As you can see, the hair comes out very natural. Here, it doesn't want to cut much. Just making sure I just trim. Make sure the line will be natural. As you can see, I just cut out of the hairline. And under the neck. So I'm creating my line. All the shape, refine and define, I do at the end. So guys, what I'm going to do, now I'm grooming his mustache making sure I trim his mustache down to the length he wants. Actually, I'm choosing the length for you, right? Estou escolhendo o tamanho para você, não tem? Close your eyes. Guys, what I'm gonna do now, I, I don't usually line up, give lines here with the trimmer because I go straight with my straight razor. But today in this video, I wanna show you how you do with the uh, trimmers because you feel you can feel more comfortable and that line will, will be a guide for the, for the straight razor. So now I'm more comfortable to come with my straight razor. And just follow the line. So that's my line, putting the mustache and around the lips. So the first thing I do I'm gonna use some scrub, make sure I remove some bad skin oil from his skin. And also the scrub under the neck helps with the uh, ingrow hair. And you massage on the same direction. So what I do now, I make sure I rub and I scrub his face. Now the skin, the pores is very open. Make sure all the dead skin is out, off, and under here, massage, same direction, will help with the ingrowth hair. And I remove the scrub. After I remove the scrub, I will apply my shaving cream. It's a very relaxing process. But before we start using any raisin, what we do is we prepare the skin and the hair to be shaped. Now I apply a little bit of oil exactly where I'm going to use my blade and on top of that we use my shaving cream but I also use on the hair I'll make sure the hair is gonna be very soft because at the end I will blow dry the hair his facial hair and I will shape up his beard. So on top of the oil, the infusion with the heat, on top of the oil and the shaving cream, what's gonna happen? I'll make sure the hair 
and the skin will be very soft to, to receive the blade. Always on the same direction massaging, the client will be very relaxed. You relax, Mateo? You relax. Towel, hot, but let's make sure it's not too hot. Is that too hot, Mateo? Is that okay? No, it's okay. It's okay? So now, I'm leaving this for about a minute or so. And the skin will be very soft and ready to be shaped. I'm removing the towel, fold, put it in his face. Now I'm sure he will be relaxed because I have a, a light above his face and the light will cover up his eye. And now I start like making sure my lines are shaved. First thing I do, I focus on my line. Stretch the skin. I'm going against my lines now, against the grain, just because I want to make sure the hair, there's no hair there, but it's going to go all the way down the skin, the lips, yeah, hold there, it's better. I make sure my lines are balanced, my lines are in equal uh, height. And now I'm applying a aftershave where I use my blade. Aftershave will give more refreshing, we close the pores. All benefits that comes with it. And this aftershave will replace some vitamins that was removed from the shaving. So now... I'm just remove a little bit of the ass excess, excess from the... Excess from the... The aftershave. I'm going to use a balm. The balm will moisturize the hair and the skin. And it will help calm down the skin as well. I always remove the asset, access of product in the face. Told you I'm going to blow dry the hair. Make sure all the hair will come off from the, the base out. You know, we'll even it out creating my shape. I'm using a low heat and low pressure, okay?
So the skin, it's a little bit of wet, have oil, have products in it. I removed, but it's still there. Before I start shaping up the beard, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna apply some uh, uh, talc, and the talc will help minimize the hair that it will stick on the, on the skin, okay? So now it's time to shape my beard, not mine, his. Uh, with my zero closed, I'm gonna start slowly from from the top, bringing down. My clipper works straight down first. Now I have to work on my bottom line. Some more talk. The talk also help with uh, make sure the skin is going to calm down. Because since we use blades to shave, we use clippers and trimmers on his skin. His skin now is very sensitive. What we do, we use talc to calm down the skin. So guys, now to finish, I'm refining and define whatever is left on this hair. Some hair that is uh, still poking out. I'm using my scissors to make sure everything is in place. This is it guys, this is the beard that I showed you, I promise you. I did a fade with the square shape. You can see his, uh, can you lift the neck a little bit? Levanta o queixo um pouquinho. You can see it's very square, lines are square. And this is the step by step. I really recommend you to get a model. You know, write it down everything I said, get a model and just follow the step. It's gonna be very easy for you guys. So I hope you guys like, if you wanna see something that you never saw before, just make sure you comment below, share, subscribe, please, because that way you won't miss any class in this channel.